in the realm whatever Marvel sets the film in. <clears throat> Our universe, Racer in 2020 did something those Pokemon fans loved. Well, at least for me. Introducing a Razor Hammerhead True Wireless Pikachu Limited Edition. Sorry, give me a few seconds. I know, I know. I'm like two years too late to do project review about this thing, but it is the miscellaneous series, so why not give it a go? The product comes in a rather nice packaging, but it's my first time doing a earbuds review, let alone reviewing anything before, so take a grain of salt on something that is subjective. But either way, you open it up like it's a Pandora's box, knowing what is inside. It's another box? Still. It's a box-shaped Pokeball, and then if you open it up, it reveals another Pokeball. But this time, it's the real deal. It's a Saphir, of course, but I'm gonna put that aside. We don't need that for now. Inside, we have a rather hard-to-get accessory box, where inside it includes a Type-C to Type-A braided cable with a Razer text logo on it, and there's a green indicator that indicates it's made by Razer. The cable is pretty flexible, if that's what you're concerning. It's covered in, I believe, nylon? Overall, just don't worry about it, it's fine. There are also some silicone ear tips, a small card, and a thingy that straps into your hand. W what was that called? Right, right. Hand strap bands. Now, let's get into the actual thing. The earbuds. First impression, when I first got it, let's imagine a teenager jumping up and down with extreme overhype, but internally with a big grin. Then struggles about 10 to 15 minutes just to open it. I'm not kidding. Look, I love the ball case, but it is slightly bulky for me to fit a phone and this inside the same pocket. And it's a bit hard for a user like me to open it up. But you will get used to it once you daily drive it. Also, there is this little white light that indicates the battery level when you open the case. Though there is a slight problem here. The indicator only goes red when it's below like 50% and go static red when it's below 20. Normally, just blinks in white light when it's at high, near or less than 100%, which to me is a slight disturbing because sometimes it dies before the 20% indicator comes in because it used up all the energy to charge the earbuds. But this can be ignored by slightly memorizing your usage of the earbuds and charging it. Another problem is that the indicator only goes static white when it's fully charged, but blinking white when it's charging. The problem here is that there's not enough indication to the charge level of the case. Is it charged enough to be used? And what level is this thing? This could be solved by adding another light or using the red light to indicate the fullness like when it's below a certain level. Another thing is that the case doesn't fast charge, which I would say slightly hoping to have feature, but not very important to me. But it is IPX4, which means it can wear during the rain or have a gym slash sporting section with you, but it cannot be submerged in the water and just be fine. Just to be very sure. Anyways, let's open it. When you open it, you're greeted by this sound. And then the two yellow earbuds that is shown in the paper packaging. The earbuds has a Pikachu back as the button, and it is capacitive. Slight annoyance, but it's fine. If you want to know the reason, go to Linus Tech Tip. Your question will be answered in one of their earbuds review. Future Braden here. Yes, one or more of the LTD videos does mention problem with capacitive buttons, but in more recent times. Earbuds manufacturer has a slightly better solution in terms of that, and some of the most recent LTT videos regarding to the earbuds does show that. Back to the video. It turns on and off by opening or closing the case when they are inside it, or holding the earbuds button for 6 seconds. 
and which a Pikachu sound is played. It can also be triggered by connecting it. A different sound will be played when it's in low battery or gaming mode. And also when you disconnect it. Also, most of the gestures are customizable in the audio app that it supports. Let's take a look of the interface. Before it shows all the products, but now it gets into the quote unquote pairing page. And then it will show you rather some okay interface could have done better, given by the starting price point at Hong Kong dollars, $1,149, or around $148.3 in US, and accounted for the inflation to, for the day of writing around a thousand and hundred sixty nine point nine six dollars in Hong Kong. Boring. It is slightly disappointing that the software doesn't have full EQ support given by the price point, but there are three modes for you to choose from: default, bass boost, and treble boost. For those who doesn't understand these terms, including me, they mean normal mode boomy mode, and I can hear human sound clearer mode. Moving on to the actual sound part. I dig it. Well, compared to those 200 Hong Kong dollars Bluetooth wireless earbuds, don't give me wrong. They sound great. I love them or even adore them because of the Pikachu sound. But because I never buy such high price point earbuds before, I cannot give much of a impression of the sound of the product. Razer claimed to have it over 15 hours of use with a charging case. I've daily drove it for a few months and own it for two years. Overall, they can last about three to four hours depending on use, but one of them dies faster for some reason. Slight disclaimer, these are by user experience. The actual time may not be accurate. For my use, I use it for long hours of listening to music in about 2 hours plus gaming section on PUBG Mobile. But they last less on gaming mode. And also, this product has been RM8, so please do not take the battery part as much serious since it may differ from others. Speaking of which, connectivity. It supports Bluetooth 5.0 which in generally 2020, Bluetooth 5.2 is out. So slightly lacking, but speaking of gaming mode, they sometimes slightly stutters when is, there's a bit of unknown interference and are not suitable for outside use. But overall, I would say the Pikachu sound sort of made it better, but in all seriousness, it is just a gimmick. I cannot see much of an improvement to gaming when I'm in PUBG. It is a feature nonetheless. But otherwise, it can connect to your phone normally like as expected. And as for the mic, you can probably hear it as I speak. It is not that bad to a point where everything I said is a bunch of noise or muffled, but could be improved. And for real gaming sections, my teammate can hear me. But sometimes when I'm speaking in a low volume, like right now, it is not picking the sound up as good. This may have a factor due to the in-game mic audio processing is not that great since it's focused on the sound effect that the actual game is playing, and the mic are mainly used as a tactical purpose. As for gaming on a laptop or a computer, I cannot comment because while I don't prefer using these earbuds or any earbuds for that matter, for gaming, because the sound quality and the support for it is just not enough. Overall, if you want to buy this product just because you need a new earbuds, I would say you should find a better alternative than this. But if you are a Pokemon fan and you really want of that big gas sweetness, go for it. Though it is two years after the release so good luck scoring with one that is brand new so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it like it if you dislike it tell me why in the comment down below subscribe if you want more content like this and um notification bell 
maybe also tell me about what do you guys want in the next video. And I will see you next time. Peace out.